the Rocketeer. He's also 007. Um, on, the, uh, on, on the 2nd, 3rd, and 4th of August, they'll be the last couple to perform in Los Angeles's play Love Letters. You've probably seen many people do it many times, but this is going to be the one. Whoopi Goldberg, Timothy Dalton. <laughs> do that? For what project? Oh, Disney asked me to sort of look a little bit different for uh -huh. this film I'm going to do for them. So this is it. And this is like work. <laughs> and this really? is like hours in the in the bathroom. Yeah, I'm not used to that. I'm Because you to wear and dreads, out. and dreads, all you have to do is wash You them. get up and go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this you got to like, oh, man, it's not working. Yeah. It's very horrible. But in a club, <laughs> in a club, this is a good look. In the club, it goes right home, honey. Uh-huh. It goes right to that. By the time I come out the club, I got your hair. Oh, oh, when it gets real hot. Well, yeah. It's like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You look good. Thanks. You look very good. Thanks. Yeah. Now, you're going to sing in this next project. Damn, man. <laughs> yeah, I am. Well, get some help from Timothy. You know, last time, last time Mr. Dalton was here, I pulled an old oh, clip man. from him and Mae West, and uh, you were singing. <laughs> <laughs> so give us some tips. Well, I think the best tip of all is to get it dubbed, because that's what happened to me. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah that wasn't you singing. Yeah, well, they're not going to dub me. Oh, you going to sing yours? Yeah, they, well, you know, yeah, I'm going to have to. Well, you know, a lot of people out there saying they sing, but they don't sing. I never said I sang. <laughs> but you I never promised, but I'm going to sing. Of course, they're paying me to sing. <laughs> and they're going to pay for my house, so I'm going to sing up a storm. <laughs> it's so honest. It's the truth. Know. It's the truth. It's yeah. the truth. Let's talk about love letters, because uh, you will come back and, and we'll deal with the movie and the hair yeah, and the singing well, and yeah. everything. But love letters, now, now let, let's broaden this conversation, because a lot of people around the country won't be able to see this. As a matter of fact, people here won't be able to see it because it's sold out. But um, <laughs> not only is this the last performance of love letters, and we've seen over the years many different people do it, uh, but this is not only the last one, but it's the first interracial one, correct? I think so. Yeah, probably. Yeah. How did it come about, Timothy? I don't know. Yeah, well, with the interracial nails in the coffin, I suppose. I suppose so, yeah. Um, I don't know. We wanted to work together. Simple as that. Yeah. yeah. It's probably going to be a while before you see us on film together. Well, we'd love to make a film together. Dying to make a film together. But every time, every time you get intimate with a guy, they cut it out. No, every time I get intimate with a guy who is a little lighter, <laughs> you know, yeah. of the other persuasion. Yeah. They said, oh, no, you don't, Miss Thing. <laughs> they cut it right out. Okay, well, wait a minute. I mean, some of the same people who produce plays in this town go on to produce film. What did the producers of this think? Did they say, oh, this is wonderful, let's do it? Well, I'm not so sure that they did, really. Oh, Are you? Oh. I'm not positive that. I mean, they wanted us to do it. They yeah. wanted us to do it, I mean, but they, they kept would... suggesting different Other people partners. <laughs> should do it. With oh, who, who did they want you to do it with? Well, they kept on. Somebody white. Come on, oh. man. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it wasn't. It wasn't that they had trouble with me being a woman. <laughs> yeah. They didn't want him to do it with another guy. Yeah. You know, so <laughs> figured it was probably a female who was black. And, and who did they give you any specific suggestions? Mm, you wanted to, but it wouldn't be fair to say. Oh, no, yeah. Yeah. absolutely. Yeah, that's right. That's why I thought about asking that question. Yeah. Yeah. And, right. and <laughs> should have went with my first thought. Um, who did they want you to do it with? I'm not telling you. Oh, come on. I'm not going to. No, we wanted on. to do it with each we other. We wanted to do it with each other, and that sure. was the stipulation we made. Because yeah. they'd say, how about, and we said, no, I, I really want to do it with him. You know, and he asked for me, and I asked for him. Well, how did you owe me? Um. Actually, it was through friends. Yeah. It was through Fred and Barbara. That's right. Well, it was a bit set up, actually. 
It was a bit sad, because when I saw uh, the color purple back in England, I was rather knocked out by you. <laughs> I thought so. It's true. It's absolutely true. You don't often find an actress who seems... I don't know, I thought she kind of had an arc lamp in her soul, you know, and that's very rare. Yeah. And so when I... Well, it's true. You know, people always used to ask me, who are your favorite American actresses? Who would you like to work with? And I always used to say, Whoopi Goldberg, but I'd never met her. Then I found out that some friends of mine called Fred and Barbara were also friends of Whoopi's. And uh, I said, I'd love to meet her. Yeah. I'd really love to meet her. Will you set up for dinner? So. Now, for those of you inquiring minds sitting at home, by the way, these people have happy relationships and or marriages, so it ain't about that. It's an artistic <laughs> thing. <laughs> They're friends. It's an art friends. thing. What, meaning what? Huh? Meaning what? I'm just trying to stop all the rumors before they start, you, just you know? Them. No, 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 no. Nobody no. was thinking about no, that. I'm the, rumor, I'm the rumor buster. You... Believe me. Hey, let me tell you something. <laughs> let me tell you something. There are people at home right now saying, ooh, them two, I know something going on. <laughs> but, uh, but listen, why you want to bust the stuff? Uh, what was wrong with okay. that? I'm, was, I'm telling you, I'm the rumor would've, buster. Then they would have written letters and said, put these people in the movie. You see how much they like each other. Well, but now that you busted it, they're going to say, oh, they're just friends. Well, that's a good point. Yeah. <laughs> we'll be back with Timothy and Whoopi. That's right, sit oh. back. Only one Worcestershire is allowed to rest too long. Uh, um, for, for people who may not know what this play is about, can you describe it briefly, Timothy? Uh, it's a series of letters between a man and a woman. It starts when they're both little children, five, six, seven years old, just pals, really, mm -hmm. and it follows them through their lives. They're brought up in a, a difficult, waspy sort of environment, and really, their lives are destroyed, both their lives, really, by the kind of world they're brought up in, and so is the love that should be, is, really, between them. It's kind of lost, and it's sad. It's sentimental, you know, it's, it's moving. Now, you used the operative word that caused Whoopi and I to look each other, Look at each other and, and have ooh, we had a moment there because you used the word wasp. Yeah. Uh, how are you all gonna work around the wasp factor? What do you mean I work don't around think gonna, it? I what, don't think you... you're gonna see a lot of wasp in no, our No, no, we're just gonna do it as we do it and let them think. We've come up with all kinds of different things that wasp, W A S P, could actually mean since it means things that we can't possibly be. Um, yeah. You know, I mean, you know, we just ch chuckle. We read passages and then it, and then go on. You well, know. It's really about two people. Yeah. A man and a woman. Yeah. I wish I had your accent, man. That's, ain't that a cool accent? Is that is it, the... No, you know what? Does an accent like that turn a woman on? It's the tone. It's ah. the to it's the pitch of his voice that's so wonderful. So because nice yeah. this is the kind of So get the piece of because this is the kind of voice women want to hear saying good morning. <laughs> just for right here. Right here, just yeah. as your eyes open it. Yeah. You want you right? And you just you know, it's, the, it's the tone. James Earl Jones has it too. Has that because it says I'm a man. <laughs> Don't even question this. Mm -hmm. Get up. Say, like, yeah, it's okay. I'm here. <laughs> you know, that's what it is. Yeah. You, ironically, this gentleman is James Bond to the world right now, and you used to have a huge, if I remember correctly, a huge uh, crush on Sean Connery. You... I still have a huge crush. Oh, you still? So, yeah. <laughs> now, what is it about Sean that you like? I grew, I grew up watching him. I mean, for me, he was the guy from Darby O'Gill and the Little People. Do you know that movie? No, I'm sorry, baby. It's, I, it's I, one I... of those movies with leprechauns and Sean Connery, and so that's. That's what uh, that's what I knew him from. 
because he was the hero then. And then with all the James Bonds, he was quite, quite wonderful. But see, I, I've been a fan of his from Line and Winter. You know, so him as James Bond is sort of icing on the cake with the other work that he's done. And he's done some amazing stuff that, you know, if you're not familiar with it, you should go out and get, because I think he's one of the underrated actors in the, in the world. It's true. I mean, it's true. Yeah. When, when Mr. Connery initially left uh, the James Bond movies, didn't they offer it to you? Um, well, they asked me about doing it. It wasn't an offer. Yeah, they yeah. did ask. And why didn't you do it immediately? <laughs> <laughs> because anyone would have been out of their heads to have taken over from Sean Connery. He was great. Were you, I mean, you, were you a much younger man then? Well, I was, but, you know, nobody could have followed Sean. I mean, and sadly, the guy that did, did only did one. You know, George Lake. Right. Yeah. I mean, he was great. You know, he was terrific. And what were you no doing? No way. And what were you doing back then? Oh, I was, I don't know, I'd done Line and Winter, and I know a couple of movies, Cromwell, Mary Queen of Scott. I was mixing theater and television. Yeah. And finally, later on down the road, you accepted it. Yeah. And what was going through your mind at that moment? Um, probably the fact I was out of work. <laughs> um, uh, I, was doing a, I was doing a play in the West End. And they were, they were terrific. The Broccoli's are great people. They, uh, they'd asked me a couple of times about doing it, and I was doing this play, Taming of the Shrew, through the the summer in London, and they'd got all caught up with a couple of other possibilities for the James Bond role, and neither one of those worked out, and I came free, and they asked me again. And I said, yeah, because it's a great part. It's uh, one of the few parts for an English person, really, in movies, that reaches everybody in the world, so I jumped at it this time. And particularly because they wanted to try and bring it back to something like the Sean Connery movie, yeah. something that was a bit tougher and more realistic, and not to send up. What are you smiling about? I'm happy. Oh, okay. That's I mean, good. you look good. Oh. You do. You look pretty good. <laughs> For you, <Yeah>. too. <laughs> that's a compliment just to have him in the room when you tell me I look good. Why? Because I, know, yes. I know what you think of him. <laughs> yes, but I think a lot of you, too. I see you more often than I see than most of my family. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so matter, matter I'm smiling at you. As a matter of fact, I'm going to miss you that you're not around Paramount as much. No, I'm no longer here. <laughs> you probably don't want to get into that, though. No. <laughs> I'm just pleased they let me drive on without a problem. <laughs> the wonderful world of Paramount. Um, <laughs> you know who else you're a big fan of that I don't think anybody knows about? Tarzan. What's the Tarzan guy? Johnny Weissmouth. Yes. Who told <laughs> Yes. yes, I love Johnny Weissman. I love Tarzan. I love Jane, too. <laughs> and Cheetah. I, oh, honey, Cheetah. I love Cheetah. See, I've and always... there were a lot of us in Tarzan movies. Yes. This is a big thing for me. Because when you start looking back at the movies that were made, you know, there weren't a whole lot of places we could be. But we were all over Tarzan, honey. <laughs> you know, they'd yell at us. They, uh -huh. Bucci, get up. Go over here. Bucci said, no, no. <laughs> but we were there. You know what I mean. <laughs> you know? <laughs> but I always wondered, I've always wondered what would have happened if it had been like, you know, I don't know, Bobby or the Apes. You know? If oh. some black parents had missed their baby in the jungle, what it would have been like if Tarzan had been black. Oh, you mean like Darnell, King Darnell, of the Jungle? Darnell, King of the Jungle. What would Jane have been? Keisha of the Jungle. <laughs> you know, would Jane have stayed, you know, with Tarzan? You, actually, you, you're leading right into my next point. I figured um, out. <laughs> no, what, what Whoopi and I did years ago is we presented a project to Paramount. We shot just a little bit of it, because I thought that Whoopi would be <laughs> the oh. best Jane. I mean, she'd be the ultimate Jane, and then we could really call this Jungle Fever. But, uh... <laughs> But what I did is I went out with, with Whoopi and, and, and I filmed a Tarzan-type movie, okay? Where Tarzan, he's a nymphomaniac and has jungle fever <laughs> and he wants to turn on to underwater sex or something and she ain't with it. And we presented it to Paramount and they said, I don't think so, we're gonna do it. He said, she said. But, uh, <laughs> but, <laughs> but, but, uh, ooh, ooh. Uh, 
Let's look at, at the thing me and Whoopi shot years ago. Nobody's ever seen this. Lost footage. Let, let, let me see this. That was Whoopi jumping out and Whoopi coming out and, and first time director, I had problems with the doubles, you know, but uh, I appreciate you both coming by. <laughs> Timothy, they're doing, no, oh, it's sold out. I won't even tell about it. Timothy and Jane, we'll see you soon. <laughs>